components of water supply scheme includes huge costly structure which cannot be increased in their capacity or cannot be replaced easily. For this purpose, components of water supply scheme are made larger by estimating the future population. In this way, expansion of water supply scheme can be avoided by considering the population forecast in the design of water supply scheme. Hence, water supply scheme is not designed for the present population, it is designed for future population. Hello my dear viewers, welcome to Simplified Civil and Geotechnical Engineering channel. I am Akshay Jaiswal. In this video, I am going to explain methods of forecasting of population. Mainly, there are three methods of population forecast. First one is arithmetical increase method, second one is geometrical increase method and third one is incremental increase method. So let's say second method of population forecast which is geometrical increase method. Now we will see method number two, geometrical increase method or it is also known as uniform increase method. Now let's see notations. Present population is given by PO. The rate of growth per decade is denoted by R and the population after N decades is given by PN and formula is given by Pn is equal to Po into 1 plus R raised to N. Now example number 2, find the population of the town at the end of the year 2020 by geometrical increase method. Here table is given in which year and population is given. This data is provided and population in the year 2020 is to be calculated. Now we will solve the problem by using geometric increase method. Present population is P0 that is 57,500. It is last or we can say latest known population. We can write this value from given table. Then population Pn after n decades is given by the formula Pn is equal to Po into 1 plus R raised to n where Pn is population after n decades and Po is latest known population R is rate of growth per decade and n is number of decade in which we are going to find out future population. Now we need to find out increase in population from 1950 to 1960. So we will take difference between values of population. That is population in 1960 is 37,500 and population in 1950 was 35,000. So increase in population is given by 37,500 minus 35,000 it will be 2500. Then we need to find out increase in population from 1960 to 1970. It can be calculated by taking difference between these two population values. It will be 43,500 minus 37,500 and it will be 6000. Now we need to find out difference between population in the year from the year 1970 to 1980. After taking difference between these two population values, we will get the increase in population. It is 8500. And last one increase in population from 1980 to 1990 it can be calculated by taking difference between these two population values it will be 57,500 minus 52,000 we will get 5,500 
now we will find percentage increase in population as percentage word is used here we need to multiply by 100 and we will find this value just in the similar manner by which we use the percentage to find percentage increase in first case to find percentage increase in population we will take this 2500 and as we are finding percentage increase we need to divide it by original value that is 35000 because population is increased from 35000 to 37500 and we are finding percentage increase hence we will divide 2500 by its original value that is 35000 and we need to multiply it by 100 because we are finding percentage increase and after doing all these calculations we will get the value as 7.14 in percentage in similar way we will do calculation for this second case increase in population is given by difference between these two and it is 6000 so we will take 6000 here and increase in population is from 37500 so we are going to divide it by 37500 and as we are finding percentage increase again we will multiply it by 100 and after all this calculation we will get value as 16 percent in this way we can find out for case number three and case number four that will be increase in population between these two years is 8500 so we will write 8500 then increase in population is taken from 43500 so we will divide it by 43500 and percentage increase means we need to multiply it by 100 that will be 19.54 similarly we can do it for last value that is increase in population from 1980 to 90 is 5500 hence we will write 5500 then increases population is from 2000 increase in population is from 52,000 hence we will divide it by 52,000 and as we are finding percentage increase in population so multiply it by 100 and after all these calculations we will get percentage increase in population as 10.58 now we will take average of this column here we will add this 7.14, 16%, 19 10.58%, 10.58%, and after adding these four values, we will divide it by 4 because we are finding average. So add all these four values and divide it by 4, we will get total percentage increase R is equal to. 53.26 now we will find the value of n and to find the value of n formula is future population minus last known population divided by 10 in question it is given that we need to find out population in year 2020 and last population given is for the year 1990 and we will take difference between these two years and divide it by 10 we will get value of n as 3 so our number of decades will be 3 or simply we can find out value of n directly just by taking count from 1990 to 2020 that is one decade will be of 10 years hence hence we will count it by the multiple of 10 that is 2000 then 1010 then last is 2020 so here three decades are completed we can directly write value of n as 3 the population after n decades 
by using geometrical increase method is given by Pn is equal to P0 into 1 plus R raised to N. Here P0 is latest known population which is given in table that is 57,500 then 1 plus R value of R is 13.315 which we have calculated in table and we need to divide it by 100 and then value of N is 3 and after all calculations we will get value of Pn as 83,662 which is population of the town at the end of the year 2020. Here we completed second method of calculation that is geometrical increase method. Hope you like the information given in this video. If you are watching my channel for first time then click on subscribe and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.